35 years, we've served customers in Boilermaker Country, and we want to serve you with pre-owned vehicles from $29.50 and up. Online at TwinCitySuperstore.com. With uh, quarterback Joey Elliott. Joey, uh, we're a few days into training camp. How are things going for you? Offensively, we're clicking pretty well. A lot better than I thought. I think the offense is running really smooth, but obviously our defense is really, really good, and so we're going to have our bumps and bruises from them. I mean, you're, you're a veteran, obviously, been around here forever and been through different offenses and, and now different coordinators and things. Just has it been uh, has it been pretty easy for you to, to step into a starting role now? I try to. Um, I, I just want to earn the respect for my teammates, and they respect me as a leader and as a player and as a senior captain. So I try to go out there and use my energy and try to get people fired up for practice. Did we just get the uh, senior call over there? I'm not sure. I think it's senior photo time. So <laughs> we'll I'll be right back. All right. All right, back from the photo break, and I have no idea what we were talking about, but <laughs> we'll, we'll try and pick it up. Just, uh, you know, you're a veteran, and you have a veteran offensive line and, and veteran running backs, it seems, and a few veterans at wide receiver, but a lot of newcomers, too. Do you feel like you guys are – are gelling well, even though it's been early here in training camp? I think the veteran line always helps. Right. Anytime you can turn around and hand the ball off and you're guaranteed four to five yards, it's going to be very um, right. confident um, in our tailbacks. We have, we're very deep at the tailback position. Mm -hmm. And with that veteran line up front, he's got to be able to get comfortable and uh, let the offense just gel well throughout camp. Have you been impressed with some of the newcomers on offense and what they've been able to show so far? Um, there's been a few of them. Um, I don't want to give any names, but they've came out ready to play. They got a little swagger about them, mm -hmm. and um, but none of them have near as much swagger like Keith Smith. That guy just has got his earrings and <laughs> his headbands, and you know he's always looking clean. And he appears to be a, a different player, other than just his appearance. I mean, he's lost 20 pounds too, and, and things like that. Is he different than than what the guy you saw, especially mid-season last year after his injury? Well, yeah, I gave him a hard time. I said last year he's starting to get a little basketball slash donut ring around this area, and uh, now he moved on up, and now he's got the abs going, going on for him. He's very, very happy with the way he looks mm -hmm. um, when he talks to you. I think he he shows that too, also. Right, right. Now, a lot's been talked about some of the. Uh, some of the newcomers, as he stands right behind us. <laughs> yeah. Some of the uh, some of the newcomers at receivers, but some of the veterans like Keith Smith and and you know Royce Adams apparently has made a pretty good move here this fall. Have some of those guys uh, really stepped up? Maybe because of the competition that they're facing from some of the new guys. I think not the competition from the new guys. I think the competition from the corners. I think right. Tory Williams, uh, Brandon King, those guys. They David Pender. They bring the competition out of everybody. Right. You have to bring your A game every route. Mm -hmm. I think that's benefited Royce more than anybody, um, being able to go his route hard every time and be precise and be on the same page as me. Yeah. Has that helped you too, knowing that you're facing a pretty good secondary every day in practice when you go out there? Oh, yeah. Um, I always give them a hard time, see how many pass breakups they get. Um, so offensively, we're trying to complete as many passes as we can during Skelly and team and trying to get the rhythm and flow of the offense going. Right. You guys put on pads for the first time today, and we'll go out there and play a little bit. What are some of the keys that, that you'd like to see um, now that you're really getting to the heart of training camp? The only difference is with the – Pads on, I guess. Coach could say it's live. That's the only thing different. Right. But, you know, we've had many passes caught, people going upfield, and just safeties come through and just right. clean their clock. Right. So, yeah, whenever you catch the ball in your shells or your full pads, you got to be ready to get tackled from the fullback standpoint, the running back to all our receivers. Right. Can this be an offense that surprises some people if some of those newcomers that you don't want to mention specifically uh, step into roles and, and you guys can start to, uh, to gel? Yes, I think 2009 will be very successful, but. You know, our backbone, and we're going to put a lot of uh, trust and strength and faith in our defense right. to, you know, to keep us in ball games, give us chances to win. Right. How critical is the run game going to be? You sort of mentioned it earlier. You've got a veteran offensive line and, and several, you know, running backs back there with, with different types of skills. You seem pretty deep at that position as well. You're very deep at that position. And as a coach, it's pretty tough to be able to pick who's number one out of the whole right. big bunch. But obviously, I'm glad that's not my job to figure out who's playing on Saturdays. So we have to get somebody in there, get them comfortable behind those big offensive linemen, and get them going. Right. Right. Thanks a lot, Joey. Hey, no problem.